Good morning, everybody. This is Patrick Montes de Oca with the weekly podcast for February 21st, 2021. Silver, leading the way up. You can only suppress the intrinsic value of an asset for so long. The pressure builds up. Gold and silver are reaching the point where they are about to explode. We are running out of silver supplies, especially for industrial uses. Gold and silver prices are being shorted by hedge funds on the paper market many times over the size of the physical market. Given the size short position in the silver market, the Reddit crowd appears to be testing the new lows and getting on the long side of silver against the short sellers with this massive short position in the silver market. Looking for a portfolio idea? Please take a look at the mean reversion trading subscription in Seeking Alpha. Fundamentals. We are still having issues with unemployment U.S. economic data that was supported for gold, but negative for industrial metals demand and silver prices, including the unexpected 13,000 increase in U.S. weekly initial unemployment claims to a four-week high of 861,000, showing a weaker labor market than expectations of a decline to 773,000. The stock market E-mini S&P is coming from a high of 3959.25 at the weekly average. We are at the 3897 right now. Trading below 3897 will activate the weekly variable changing price momentum indicator with ECPMI levels of 3859 to 3839. Fundamentally, gold and silver should be much higher. Since the start of the year with the new administration, we have had, uh, we have heard a stimulus talk, but we only saw one package and it has not made an impact. Unemployment is still high uh, in the 10 year note, which is the short end of the yield market is starting to increase. Gold traders see the relationship as bearish for gold. This is new territory. We have never had negative interest rates. If you take inflation into account, Europe is lowering interest rates as low as possible. Commitments of traders report show that there is a large number of positions shorting gold and silver. All of the stimulus is in the long run, inflationary, which we already are seeing in grains and other commodities. Soybeans are at 14.36, wheat is at 6.93. This is just the beginning. Main Street has yet to be affected by the increase in the prices in the food sector. Crude oil is at $60 a barrel, up from minus $37 last year. We are up more than $90 a barrel from the lows. Therefore, it Uh, It's an anomaly between the physical and paper markets in gold and silver. This is similar to what happened in March 2020 when gold imploded from 1700 to 1450 in about 30 days. Then the Fed announced that they would provide unlimited amounts of quantitative easing. They allocated 10% of GDP for such efforts. The market discounted this and assumed that all of the stimulus would be highly inflationary for the U.S. dollar. We have been exporting inflation to the world since 1971 when we went off the gold standard. This rally that we saw in gold anticipated the potential damage that we are going to see. We are seeing an ongoing battle between the U.S. dollar and gold, which is the other side of the U.S. dollar. Since 1971, gold saw 2081 traded from 35 an ounce which was the benchmark price back to Roosevelt. Since 1971, the U.S. dollar has collapsed more than 90% in value against gold. Gold hit 1900 in 2011, and since then, paper short selling has kept gold down in price, which props up the U.S. dollar. 
the commitment of traders reports have shown how these uh, uh, how those shorting the market have written more than 10 times the short paper contracts that are available in the physical market. Gold and silver are reaching the point where they are about to explode. We are running out of silver supply, especially for industrial uses. In March, we were low on supplies and the physical market included about $80 premium for gold and silver over the paper price. In the past, the futures markets led the way in price. The physical market is headquartered in London, while the paper market is in New York, comics. The commitment of traders shows that there are still massive short positions in precious metals in the comics exchange, which exceeds $38 billion, which has kept the price down. The current environment is similar to the 1970s when we saw interest rates hit 14% and gold rallied from $130 up to 800 or 900 in 1981. Interest rates can go up as well as the price of gold in an inflationary environment, which is where we are heading. Food and energy, if added to inflation rates, means that inflation is already running at about 10%. The Fed argues that such an uh, effect would be temporary. The government does not include food and energy prices in their inflation rate, which is a way to hide the real inflation rate. Now, counting soybeans means that you are not counting a commodity that drives the food industry. Well, not counting crude oil is ridiculous. Given soil role in the economy. On top of inflation, we have a massive unemployment. These are not normal conditions. This environment is headed towards a massive reversion in precious metals to all new time highs. In gold, we have been trading above the average monthly price. Uh, the uh, daily and annual average price is about $17.79. This is right into the VCPMI by one monthly of 1781 and the daily average of 1779. This area of 1779, 1780 is a critical area, which represents what the VCPMI calls a harmonic relationship between different cyclical trends, daily, weekly, monthly, and annual. Yesterday, the market came down to a 50% Fibonacci retracement the low tested the 2020 lows. The market is at a critical pivot point related to the Fibonacci retracement, which is into the buy trigger point of 1763. We are in a liquidated market since the market high was made at 2089 on August 2020. Gold and silver prices are being shorted on the paper market in huge amounts, which uh, keeps their price down. The market is testing the November lows of 1767.20. We appear to be within a few dollars of the bottom in silver and gold. A close above 1781 in gold would activate a buy trigger in the 1760s. Are the daily buy signals? If gold goes above 1780, it would bring in the daily, weekly, and monthly signals. Given the massive short position in the silver market, the Reddit crowds uh, appears to be testing the new lows and getting on the long side of silver against the short sellers on Wall Street. It's just a matter of time we see a tremendous strength of these new buyers. For silver, a close about 27. 08 will activate a day buy trigger. For conservative traders, you can use 2708 as a protective stop, while aggressive traders can use a maximum dollar stop based on the amount you can afford to lose. The third option is to get out of the at the end of the day if you're day trading. 
Silver is showing us that all of the sentiment that drove the price down has reached a point where buyers are likely to come into the market. The daily buy to level is at around 26.71 and the weekly is at 22.76, which are harmonic relationship between the different time cycles. In this area, do not sell. Look for our washout to 26.71, where a reversion is likely to occur, or a close above 27.08. There is a 90-95% probability that buyers will come into the market at these levels. You can day trade based on these levels or add to your long-term positions. Gold and silver are, are, are in an area of a high probability of a reversion back up. Do not go short. The probabilities are that the market is going to revert, not continue down. It may continue down, but it's far from likely. Expect the volatility in gold and silver to continue as the tug of war between the short sellers and the unexpected demand continues. The demand is from the Reddit crowd, but because of that, the whole world is focused on metal so often that uh, uh, so uh, others are also coming into the market. The increasing demand for silver is really putting the short positions at risk. The London exchange has hardly any physical availability. If the paper market gets even more out of whack with what is in the physical market, they may stop selling cash period. Majestic Silver did that last year. It did not matter what the paper price was because that was not the real price. We are running out of supplies. The only place to go was the futures markets. The short side of the market is afraid of such, uh, such a thing happening. We are looking at any time for gold and silver to hit the VCPMI by triggers.